Scott Lad pledges urgent aid to flood ravaged Libya as the death toll exceeds 2,000. Italy and Qatar discuss energy, defense, and migration in high level talks in Doha. Qatar Tourism names Olympic champion Muatez Bersham as their new brand ambassador. And finally, Arsenal's Tim Akinola joins Qatari side El Bidah Sports Club in a permanent transfer. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani has directed immediate aid to areas affected by severe flooding in eastern Libya in a swift response to the humanitarian catastrophe unfolding in the North African country. The urgent relief from Qatar comes as eastern Libya faces unprecedented devastation. Authorities have reported a death toll exceeding 2,000 in the city of Derna, with an estimated 5,000 to 6,000 people still missing. Italy's Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni and Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani engaged in quote deep talks in Doha, focusing on defense and energy collaborations, investments, and strategies to address illegal migration. At the heart of these deliberations were bilateral matters with particular emphasis on investments within the defense sector. For more information, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. And now, Qatar Tourism has announced Olympic and World High Jump conqueror Mu'taz Bersham as its new brand ambassador from now to September 2024. The Golden Falcon, who is the only high jump athlete to win five world championship medals, has been called the obvious choice for tourism as, quote, he is a true embodiment of Qatar's limitless potential. And finally, Qatari side El Bida'a Sports Club are set to unveil Tim Akinola after the midfielder left Arsenal on a permanent deal. The 22-year-old has signed a three-year contract with his new club after the Gunners gave the green light for the deal before the transfer window ended. The Nigerian-born midfielder joined the Doha-based club in a pristine physical condition, having trained with Arsenal throughout the preseason before traveling to Qatar. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for daily updates.